So for this project, I started with a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I had painted with acrylic peach, bright peach colored paint. And then I outlined the letters H and P. I had a stencil with a bunny rabbit in the middle for the O, and I painted that all in white. And after I looked at it for a few minutes, I decided to take this metallic purple paint and outline it. And then after looking at that for a few minutes, I decided to just go ahead and paint the entire thing the metallic purple. And then I took a white dotter. It's like a foam white dotter that you dip into white paint. And I made polka dots all over the letters and the bunny rabbit. Then I took Ashland Decorative Filler that you pick up at Michael's and made a bunny tail with it. Then I decided to make some decorative Easter eggs for the project. I used Art Resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin, one part resin to one part hardener. When you first put it in the container, it's clear. You're supposed to mix it for about three minutes. You're supposed to scrape the sides and the bottom as you're mixing to assure thorough mixing. You'll see it starts to turn cloudy. And after about three minutes of mixing, you'll notice it turns clear again. The slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. So to make the Easter eggs, I had purchased these two Easter egg molds on Amazon, one pink and one gray. I took regular acrylic paint and used the dotting tool and filled in the polka dots and the little lines at the bottom of the trays in the Easter eggs. This is very similar to the Easter eggs I had made previous to this on my um, white Easter bunny project. So next I mix some mica powder pearl white and with a little bit of resin. This mica powder I picked up from Amazon. There was 24 different colors in the package. And I just mixed a tiny bit of it with a little bit of resin. And you have to mix it thoroughly. And then you, I took a dropper, a type of a dropper that I could draw it up in. And I put that in the little dots and lines where I was putting the latex paint. And the way I'll remember is you can see a little gold slash I put next to the ones that I'm doing with the mica powder mixed with resin. Next, I'm taking a gold marker and I'm putting it on the other side so that you'll see which eggs I use the alcohol ink, the pearl white alcohol ink mixed with resin. And I did the exact same thing. I mixed it in with the resin and then I used the, mixed it up thoroughly. And then I used the little dropper to draw it up and I put it in all the lines and the dots. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going on very neatly. This is a little bit harder to work with for some reason, or maybe I'm getting impatient toward the end of it. Then I mix up some uh, purple mica powder with some resin and I start pouring it into the different eggs. Some of the purple resin I'm mixing with some of the confetti to see how that will look. And then the other two eggs that I never put any dots in, I end up using the latex paint and just doing that real quick with the latex paint, white latex paint. And then filling that with the purple resin and next I used my blowtorch to get rid of all the bubbles and there's quite a few bubbles and if you'll notice they're on the back so once you demold them it's the opposite side that you're gonna see so these bubbles you really wouldn't see but I go over it with the torch anyway the kitchen torch so for the gray mold I'm gonna try to remember what I did so this I'm using acrylic purple paint and filling in all the lines and the dots there. And then when I'm done with that, I use the resin and mix the pearl white mica powder in with it and pour that over the top of quite a few of the eggs. Some of it I mix a little of that iridescent confetti in it too and mix that up. And then next, I mix up the resin with the pearl white alcohol ink and pour that over it. And then next, I go ahead and I paint some more with the purple acrylic paint. And then I just pour some resin over it with some of the iridescent confetti just to finish it off. 
So now they've sat overnight and they're ready to take out of the mold. The ones I'm going to take out of the molds first are the ones that have the acrylic, white acrylic paint, and those are the ones that turned out the best. Now, I don't know if you remember or saw my other Easter egg one, but when you put resin into a mold that is not shiny in the bottom, when you take it out, it's not going to be shiny. So you have to actually pour resin over it to make it shiny, which is what we're going to do when we finish up the project on the canvas. Now the next two are the ones that instead of painting the dots and the lines with the acrylic paint, I used the pearl white mica powder and uh, mixed it with a little bit of resin and then put it into the dots and the lines and they did not come out good at all. So I think the paint the regular acrylic paint works the best. And then the other two that have the X by them, I used the pearl white alcohol ink and mixed that with a little bit of resin and put that in the dots and the lines. And this is how these came out. Not good either. <laughs> yeah, no. So the acrylic paint wins out. And then next I take them out of the gray mold, and I don't know why, but the purple acrylic paint seems to have stuck to the bottom of that. I don't know if because I did those last or I did those too soon. I'm not really sure what the deal was with that. But, um, oh, it almost still seems wet or something. But anyway, um, the acrylic paint definitely works the best, and... For some reason, I might have been in more of a hurry to do these. These didn't turn out as well as the other ones. But they still look cute, most of them. So next, I put my favorite eggs on the canvas, and I make sure the canvas is up on some cups because you don't want the resin dripping down. Your canvas will stick to the paper, the protective paper underneath it and then I get ready to do the resin. So for this project, I'm using ClearCast 7000. So I showed you earlier how I mix my resin. <clears throat> Even though this is ClearCast 7000, it's mixed the same way as the art resin is. I usually spoon it over the glass first, and with this crushed glass, you really make you have to make sure you saturate it. Because I did a Christmas tree once, and I put it all over the top, but underneath it wasn't um, all the way saturated. Anyway, next I put it all over the eggs, and I believe at one point here I used my hand to kind of spread it over the eggs a little bit, and then to get the resin underneath the eggs to make sure the eggs stick properly to the canvas. And then I use my hand to go ahead and spread it around on the canvas. I'm noted for using too much resin all the time, and I'm trying to kind of cut down my amount of resin that I use. I do not like it when it drips off the side and makes those little bumps underneath, but I do like the side to be coated with resin, so I try to make sure it's all coated. And then I take some more of this Ashland decorative filler, the same as what I used for the tail and after I did it I wasn't sure whether I should have used it but I did and so I kind of sprinkled it all over the project to make it even more bright and sparkly <laughs> and then I was pretty much done. When it's done it needs to sit on a level surface overnight to cure. It actually takes like up to three days to cure but by the morning you should notice that it's you should be able to touch it without causing any problems and it needs to cure between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit on a level surface. I've also learned that you need to cover it with a dust cover so that you don't end up with any dust in it to ruin your finish.